Today's day 90. Uh, I'm going to weigh in for the last time. Uh, I haven't weighed in for a couple weeks, so I'm curious to see where I'm at. Most definitely it's going to have to be the, uh, the mental side. Um, eating every three hours was a chore in the beginning, um, but you know that becomes habit and uh, it's more the mental side of, of convincing yourself that you know to stay, stay on course and for me that's that was the, my challenge. Um, I remember early on getting down on myself quite a bit uh, wondering if this was the right thing to do and thinking at the same time because I'm creating these videos um, that I was failing uh, so it was hard convincing myself that you know to, to stick stick with it and, uh, definitely my key was visualizing. I know I had mentioned it in the beginning, but I vividly remember putting myself uh, where I'm at right now and how I feel. And uh, whenever I got down or I, I, I didn't believe in myself or I doubted it, um, that's what I did. Yeah, yes, absolutely. 100% uh, I feel like I, I absolutely accomplished my goal. You guys got to remember that the 195 was just a number. That was just an attainable number, you know, 22 pounds in 90 days. It's, it's not out of the realm. Um, but my goal was also, too, to fit back into my suit, which, you know, I took engagement photos a while ago, and I'd fit back into it then. So I was about two months in. I really started to feel a lot better and uh, started feeling like, yeah, this, this challenge or this, this diet was working. You know, given my past, um, two failed marriages, in and out of the county jail until I was about 26, from 19 to 26, substance abuse problem. Um, to think that after all of what I've been through, that I had something of value and I could actually do something um, you know, else besides really fuck up was hard. Um, you know, but one day I started to believe in myself. It was just out of nowhere. Like one day I got sick of it. I was like, you know what? You can do this. And it was after that time, I started following my intuition, started acting on all my good ideas that I had, and I made it out. And that's why like, I, I sit here and I have people come up to me and ask me, you know, how do you believe in other people's success you know, when you may not even know them? And it's because of what I went through and what I've been through and, and how I made it out of that, that, that I know and I believe that anybody can do what they want to do. If they want to lose weight, then they'll lose weight. If they want to become successful in business, they'll become successful. You know, it was all those downs and me picking myself back up that, that really makes me believe in, in everyone. You know, my last note that I want to say is, um, is actually a, a YouTube video. It's actually audio from a YouTube. Uh, when I first started to kind of get my shit back together, I would listen to this motivating stuff and um, you know, it's really stuck with me. So, and uh, this story is not mine. I don't know who the motivational speaker is, who said it. It's a famous guy, uh, but I couldn't tell you the name, but uh, here's the story. So um, it was winter time and there was a couple boys playing out on the ice. And um, you know, one of the little boys ended up falling and into the ice and he began to drown. And so he was making his way down the river underneath the ice and his friend is just ferociously trying to beat this ice and um, you know, trying to save his little friend and he can't break the ice and he's trying. And I mean, he's given everything that he has to break this ice and he can't do it. Um, you know, it's then that he looked in the distance and seen you know, a tree and he ran, jumped onto the tree and broke down like an enormous sized branch and then ran back to where his friend was and savagely began to beat the ice until, you know, he saved his friend. And um, when the paramedics showed up and, you know, they were looking around at the situation and they looked at the branch and they looked at this little puny kid, you know, and they were thinking to themselves, how in the hell could this little kid run off to that tree, break off the branch that size, and then come back and beat the ice to save his friend. You know, they, they thought that it was just like miraculous. They thought it was baffling. They, they couldn't believe it. And um, there was an old guy there and he said, I can tell you how you did it. And then they were like, well, how? How did he do it? 
And the old man said, there was no one here to tell him that he couldn't do it. And, uh, and that story stuck with me since the first time I, I remember listening to it. And I just want to, you know, to definitely say to not let anybody tell you that you can't do something. You, know, you can do anything you want as long as you believe.